Yes, squad, welcome back to another Rugby Trainer TV video from me, Ben John, the Rugby Trainer. Today, we are touching on a really important part of the game, rucking. And specifically, we're going to look at five tips to help you improve your ruck when you're on your own, so you can dominate that breakdown. Let's go. Now, I know rucking can be tough. I used to be a back, so yes, I know your struggles. But the common mistakes I see is you're not getting low enough, you're not chasing your feet when you hit the ruck, but also you're not getting there. You're not winning the race to the ruck. And if you are struggling with any of those three common mistakes, please comment below and let me know. And make sure you stick around at the end. I'm going to drop six drills. It's going to help elevate your rucking so you can take it into your game and dominate the pitch. Let's get into it. First up, we have got getting low. The reason why we want to get low in the ruck is we're nice and strong and powerful in that position so we can win and dominate that ruck to either get clean ball or to turn over the opposition ball. So what we're looking at here is something really simple that I learned from a youngster is brushing the grass or cutting the grass with your hands. So as you're approaching this bag, we don't want to be dropping really quickly. We want to be one or two steps away. We want to be just cutting the grass with our hand. This then drops our hips, drops our knees. We're nice and low. And then that helps us then set a great height for when we are hitting that ruck, okay? So when we're coming front on from the ball, cut the grass with your hand, that sets the height, and then boom, you can hit and you can win that ruck. So we just touched on the easy part, coming onto the ball, but in the game, our players might get hit backwards. We have to come back around. What I see a lot of players doing, when we're coming back around, we go backwards to get a lot of distance we can create a lot of power but then we've lost that race okay so we need to be really smart and we need to get here quickly but also we need to set that height so a little tip for you cutting the grass but i call this one on the way back dropping the anchor so as you're coming back there instead of going all the way back around cut the grass with your hand you're dropping the anchor you're turning and then boom we've set that height ready to hit fight and win back this ball okay so drop that anchor on the way back cut the grass on the way forward so there we have, that's tip number one. Make sure you watch until the end for a few drills or ideas you can add to your training when you're on your own to work on that skill. Something I see a lot of people doing and a mistake we make is as we're making our hit, we're not fighting or we're not chasing our feet. We might come up against someone who's really strong in this rug. So the initial hit might not be enough. Or if we're coming back on the ball like I just showed in tip one, it might, be, uh, might not be enough where we're just hitting we have to fight, we have to chase our feet. So make sure you plant your foot a little bit closer and take smaller steps. So as you hit, don't just leave your legs behind. I want you to hit and then as you're hitting, you're chasing your legs through. Small little steps, you're grabbing onto someone and you are fighting, you're wrestling to win every inch in this rock because it's all really important. And after you finish then, make sure you always finish on your feet. So how can we get us to chase our feet here. So what a lot of us tend to do is as we're getting closer to the ruck, we're taking big strides. Make sure you chop your feet a little bit, you're staying balanced, and then you're planting your foot a little bit closer, so then you're not having a massive stride, so it's really hard to chase our feet there. So make sure your strides are short. You can adjust then to any picture that's in front of you, so you can move, but then you're planting, you're chasing through. So take smaller steps just before contact to help you have the ability to chase, chase through, or fight if need be. And if you want any drills, make sure you stick around at the end. I've got a few for you. Tip three, let's talk about exiting the ruck. Sometimes, worst case scenario, we fall on the floor. Yeah, sometimes it happens, we're on the floor. Worst thing we can do is roll in north or south. If we roll south, we're rolling back on our ball or we're back onto the people that want to come and ruck or counter ruck from our team. So that's gonna spoil our play. If we roll forward, if we're trying to roll out to here and we roll this side, penalized, okay? We're on the wrong side of the ruck. So make sure you do everything you can to get out east and west, you get back up on your feet and you get back in the game, okay? So remember, east v west, never north, never south. Tip four, rugby is all about speed. Get into this ruck first is so, so important. The common mistake I see, like I touched on in the first tip, is we take these long arcs 
to try and gather speed and momentum into this ruck, but actually that's killed a lot of time and we could have lost the ruck. Also, as we come into this ruck, I see a lot of players waiting for a picture to happen here. We're waiting for something to happen and then we react to it rather than being proactive, getting there first, setting yourself, winning that ruck, winning the race to this area. So make sure you win the race to the ruck. And remember in the drills at the end, I'm gonna show you how we do that. So make sure you check them out. So there we have it, we've had the four tips, so make sure you take note of those four tips because in this fifth section, I did say it was going to be a tip, but these are actually the six drills. This is the bonus fifth tip, six drills that you can do on your own with a pad to work on your rucking. It doesn't matter if you're a forward or a back, these are great just to stay on top and start improving in this area. But before we start, make sure you hit that subscribe button if you like this video. There's loads of stuff on my channel that's gonna help you level up your game or inspire you to grab a rugby ball, get outside and play. And again, if you wanna work with me every week on your game, following programs and getting weekly feedback from myself, make sure you read the description, click the link and join my rugby academy where I've helped thousands of players from all over the world improve their game drills like this, they can film them, they can send them to me and I can give feedback and every week then we progress their game. So let's get into the six drills. So drill number one is the lunge, hit and clean. But before we start, when we do a rucking on our own, we tend to do this setup. We tend to use a shield over a pad, but I want to get rid of this shield, okay? Because I want you to get nice and low. This is gonna force you to get really low. This comes up to my shin, all right? So this is very low for me. The first drill is the lunge, and this is gonna cover a few of our tips. It's gonna cover driving our feet, but also staying low in this exercise. So I'm gonna hit with my right shoulder. So I'm gonna step my right foot close, I'm gonna step my right foot back, and I'm in this position, okay? So I'm gonna lean forward, load up my front leg, but as I step forward, I'm gonna hit and chase my feet. But with this, I wanna stay in the tunnel. I wanna stay nice and low and hit through rather than popping back up, okay? So this is a demo here. Remember, knees, elbows, hands off the floor. I want to be grabbing this and chasing my feet, all right? Three, two, one, hit in, chase. Cool, so drill number two is a great one to warm our shoulders up, but also help us get nice and low. And as we hit, we want to be chasing our feet, okay? So it covers a few tips there. So there's four different color cones. I'm going to shout out a color. So if I shout a blue, I always have to ruck that way. So I have to come back around. As I shout the blue, then you're going to crawl. You're going to bear crawl all the way, making sure that you're getting there as fast as you can, but you're not coming on the wrong side. You have to turn around there, boom, hit and chase. Hit for two steps and then hold your body up. We're gonna do that now around all the colors. Obviously, if I call these two colors, it's front foot. If I call these two colors, it's back foot. Great for warming up your shoulders and great for setting your height ready for the rocking session. Drill number three is the shift and ruck. So now we're taking away our hands off the floor. We're going back into proper rucking. So you're gonna be back here. It's gonna be two different color cones. You're always gonna go onto the ruck. So you're going front foot ball. So if I shout white, you shift to white. Now we're coming from a slight angle, but also there's only two steps. How can we drop our height really quickly, hit and chase without having our hands on the floor, okay? And then the same then with red. I shout red, I shift, it's my other shoulder. Boom, hit and chase my feet with good height. Demo, ready and let's go. Red, there, Boom. hit and chase. Drill four is like drill two. We've got four cones, always come in this direction. So these two, you have to come back. These two, you have to go forward onto the ball. And this time, there's no hands on the floor. There's no bear calls. You just got to get to this ruck as fast as possible. Setting your height, hitting and chasing. So if I say red, you get to red cone really quickly. Remember, you have to win the race to get to this ruck. So there, drop your height, hit that anchor, and then boom, you're hitting and chasing. And then if I say yellow, here, there, boom. Setting your height, a couple of steps, win the height, win the race, chase your feet, and win the ruck. Drill number five is the pass and ruck, okay? But there's two parts to this. We're gonna run straight, we're gonna draw this defender here, then we're gonna hit the pass nice and accurately. Bang, as we hit that pass, we're not gonna stay on our heels. We're gonna pass, we're gonna follow, and then we're gonna hit this ruck. Our, our fellow teammate has just been tackled. Can we pass, follow, after the pass, hit that ruck, clean it out, and we go. And then we can do exactly the same then, going backwards. So we'll set this pad behind us. We pass from here, bang, and then we run backwards because our player has just been smashed, okay? So we need to help them out. So those are two little variations of the same drill. It's gonna help us draw the man, 
pass, and then boom, get after the pass. So drill number six is just a S and C little block that you can do, there's three exercises. The first one is, There we have it guys, you've got the drills, you've got the tips, now do them on your own. Spend 10 minutes after your training session or down the park or in your garden working on these skills, then you can add it into your training with live scenario and then hopefully then it'll transfer over to your game. But if you really enjoy this, please subscribe, please comment below what you'd love to see next to me, what skills should I cover? And again, if you wanna work with me every week on your game, following programs, getting weekly, feedback coaching from myself and other top coaches in the academy please check out the description join the academy and there's a free seven day training plan there for you as well if you want to trial it out so thanks again and i'll see you next time